<coughs> representing the contingents of, of Dixie soccer dads back there. Uh, I'm actually the centrist among them. I should point out that uh, you're seeing opposition to this idea from both the left and the right, literally, back there with Paul and Armand. Uh, anyway, my name is Peter Henry. I'm a Dixie dad. I've lived here for 15 years in the neighborhood, still live here in the neighborhood. My daughters went through the district. And here's the interesting thing. I just want to make a couple of personal observations about this issue and then a pragmatic one to sort of cement the perspective on this. First of all, I grew up in Silver Spring, Maryland, right above the Mason-Dixon line. My dad marched with MLK. So I do have some clue about what it means to be part of a group that has experienced discrimination and moved on from it. So in 2003, when my wife and I moved to the district, it never even dawned on me that Dixie was that Dixie. Just never dawned on me. And the reason was that I was raised to think different, that I got to see firsthand the speech where MLK said, we're interested, we're looking forward. He looked forward to a time where people were judged by the content of their character, not the color of their skin. In other words, what we think, not necessarily what is said. And I get and understand personally that there are some expressions and some terms that are more currently offensive or acrimonious. But that's not the point here. The point here is that since moving here, this is not, has been nothing but a welcoming and open community. And that's who we are in 2018. That's who we were in 2003 when we moved here. This is not 1864, and it's not 1964 even. This is 2018. And this community reflects the liberal and accepting and open and welcoming ideals that we would hope to live in. So now, what does that mean then? And I'll observe one interesting thing about the folks who are in favor of this name change. They put together a website in which they put a quote that I find very ironic by Maya Angelou, and I'll just read it quickly. We cannot change the past, but we can change our attitude toward it, <clears throat> uproot guilt and plant forgiveness, tear out arrogance and seed humility, Exchange love for hate, thereby making the present comfortable and the future promising. Why is that ironic? Because she wasn't talking about words. She was talking about how we think and how we act. So now, the pragmatic point. The one thing I do know after 15 years here is that the district is constantly in a budget crunch. Has anyone stopped to think about what we can do with the resources, with the money, because this is 2018, not some other time, to actually help our students more? Think about it. A rough calculation of this name change would run into the tens of thousands of dollars. If anyone thinks that that doesn't make a, dist a difference to this district and to our kids, they're mistaken. So for that, for the pragmatic reason and for the personal reason about who this community is, this community, not outsiders telling us what we should think, but this community from the inside is, I'm strongly opposed to putting our resources to this effort at this point. Thank you. <laughs>